Today we are going to watch 22 important control valve questions which are frequently asked in interviews. 1. What is a control valve? A control valve is the final control element, which directly changes the value of the manipulated variable by changing the rate of flow of control agent. 2. What is meant by control valve trim? Trim is a matched pair of plug and seat. In brief, the internal parts of the valve body, stem, seating material, package, disc, plug, back rings, etc., are collectively called as the trim. All wetted parts which can be removable and replaceable in the valve body are part of the control valve trim. What is CV of a valve? Valve flow coefficient, CV, is the flow capability of a control valve at fully open conditions relative to the pressure drop across the valve. It is defined as the volume of water, GPM in the US, at 680 degrees Fahrenheit that will flow through a fully open valve with a pressure differential of 1 psi across the valve. 4. What is a good CV value? Basically, CV less than 10 is very good, 10 to 20 is good, 20 to 30 is acceptable, and CV greater than 30 is not acceptable. 5. What is control valve actuator? The drive unit having a diaphragm and a piston that operates the valve stem is called valve actuator. 6. What is control valve positioners? A valve positioner is a device that interfaces with the process controller and the actuator, and is connected to the valve stem so it can sense the exact position of the valve. The positioner receives an input signal from the process controller and outputs a signal to the actuator to move the valve. 7. What is called stem travel? The scale that shows the stem movement in inches or centimeter is called stem travel. 8. What is valve body? The bottom portion of a control valve installed on a pipeline to control a process. The valve body contains a trim, pipe flange, bonnet, gaskets, guide bush, gland packing, lantern ring, grease, cooling fins, etc. 9. What is yoke and valve? A portion of the actuator which connects the actuator to the valve body carrying a stem travel plate. Yokes are a type of mounting bracket. It uses a coupling to connect the valve stem and actuator stem as well as two brackets that hold the actuator and valve together. 10. What is gland packing? Gland packing is a sealing system in the valve body which prevents the process fluid coming out through the valve stem. 11. What are the three main parts of an automatic control valve? 1. Valve actuator, 2. Valve positioner, 3. Valve body. 12. What are the different types of control valves? The commonly used control valves can be divided as follows. 1. Depending on action. 2. Depending on the body. Depending on action. 1. Air to close. 2. Air to open. Depending on body. 1. Globe valve single or double seated. 2. Angle valves. 3. Butterfly valves. 4. Three-way valves. 13. What is a double-seated control valve? Where in general it is used, a double-seated valve is a top and bottom guided valve and these valves have two plugs and two seats. In this type of valve, the line pressure acts upward in one plug and downward in the other, and because of this, the force is balanced. These valves are used for high-pressure applications, high differential, huge capacity and turbulent flow lines. 14. What is a single-seated balance trim? 
It is a trim having a single seat and plug and balance holes on its plug. A single seated balance trim is used in a process line where the DP across the valve is high. These kind of trims are useful in reducing the vibration on the valve body and also assists in closing the valve. 15. What is a direct acting and reverse acting actuators? Direct acting, stem extends when air pressure and actuator increases. Air to extend. Reverse acting, stem retracts when air pressure and actuator increases. Air to retract. 16. What is an oversized control valve? How to solve an oversized problem? A control valve is said to be oversized when a minimum signal to the valve, minimum opening of the valve, brings process to the set point rapidly. This situation leads to an imbalance and high gain in the control loop. The problem can be solved by changing the valve trim to a reduced trim size, or by replacing the control valve for the correct size. 17. What is a bench set on a control valve actuator? On a pneumatic control valve, this is the minimum and maximum air pressure to be applied to achieve the full stroke length of the actuator. 18. Why is a valve positioner preferred even on a control valve having a bench set 20 to 100 kPa? It makes the valve response quicker. When there is a load change in the process, the positioner assists the valve to achieve the stroke length as per the controller's instruction. 19. What are the possible reasons if a control valve fails to open or close? Gland packing is too tight, actuator bench set is not proper or suitable, process load change is too high, trim is an unbalanced type. Actuator spring is broken, air supply to the valve positioner, actuator is close or high, etc. 20. What is a lantern ring? Where is it located on a control valve? A greasing ring placed in the valve bonnet across the gland packing. The unit provides lubrication to the valve stem when it travels up and down. 21. What is fail open control valve? Fail open means a valve would open at a loss of signal or power. These types of valves require air pressure to stay closed. Once the required air pressure or power is gone, the valve will naturally open. 22. What are the three most common control valve flow characteristics? 1. Linear, 2. Equal percent 3. Quick opening. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, comment. IIQA.